Good evening. Thank you for joining us for this special edition of 24 Hour News 8, Indiana's Most Wanted. I'm David Barris. And I'm Brooke Martin. This half hour, we are going to shine the spotlight on criminals who need to be caught and cases that need to be solved. We'll also have information on how you could earn a cash reward for helping put wanted criminals behind bars. First tonight, last fall, it started off as a typical Thursday afternoon in the Eagle Crossing subdivision. When a neighbor stopped by a home to play with a friend, he instead found the bodies of 39-year-old Victoria Valdez and her 31-year-old friend, Vincent Grant. 24-Hour News 8's Julian Grace takes a look at this unsolved double murder investigation. We begin with Victoria Valdez, or Vicki Lynn as her dad calls her. Here's a picture of daddy's little girl on the beach under the sun well before she had a single care in the world. As Victoria grew, she became a single mother of two. And this blue, tidy bungalow would be the house she would call home. But one Thursday morning in September, she made breakfast, sent the kids off to school, and then her friend, Vincent Gray, stopped. Well, on that morning, someone else was close behind, who didn't hide but went right inside and pulled a trigger several times, killing Victoria and Vincent. Well, somebody knows who did this to my daughter. We were there in the aftermath as fragmented pieces of a crime scene remain. That was my baby brother, you know, he didn't do no harm to nobody. We talked to Vincent's family, who described him as a hardworking family man who loved his sons. Happy birthday, Vinny! We love you! As time moved on, we, love we watched you. as each victim was memorialized in their own way. And then there were reports that people were talking and that names were floating around on who was responsible. But so far, no one was put in cuffs. You know, we all know that time is not a friend of, the, of these investigations. And the reason why is that because people are so forgetful and we forget. Then came this two minute and 20 second clip asking for tips. On September 20 The PSA provided the where, how and when. But we still need to know the who and why. The police can't see everything, can't be everywhere, and we're dependent upon other people doing the right thing. Then there was another blow to the investigation. When IMPD Deputy Chief James Waters died in a car accident, Victoria's father tells us Waters kept the family informed on his daughter and Vincent's case. So I was quite devastated, really. This father, in his heart, believes his Victoria knew the person who pulled the trick. We even traveled back to the scene to see if we could learn something more about what happened on that day. All we found was an empty house that used to be called a home. For now, this father continues to wait for justice for his little girl. And while he waits, he relies on the scriptures just to get by. You know, the psalmist said, I will look under the hills whence cometh my help. And uh, that the Lord is my helper. And that he's a very present help in time of need, the script scripture teaches us. Vicki believed in the Lord and she believed in the Bible. And... Uh, She knew the source of that strength also. Through a spokesman, IMPD adds they have no new information in the investigation to release. If you have any information, please call Crime Stoppers at 317-262-TIPS.